Now we've hooked up the um, impact rice hauler from India with a the DC motor. Now uh, I've got two 12 volt batteries on 24 volts. This is a one horsepower, runs at uh, around 5,000 RPM. I'm going to uh, add uh, some rice. Turn it on. We're using our hopper, going down the chute into the impact hauler. I'd say it's doing about, uh, just did all of that right there. That might have been a pound. So you're going to get about 100, 150 pounds an hour out of that. Now I'm going to put in some uh, buckwheat. So now I have uh, some buckwheat here. Just going to uh, pour it in. Pour in the canary seed. So again, this is a holder that we've motorized. This is the uh, two batteries. They're uh, generating 24 volts. This is my one horsepower DC motor. I have a two inch a six inch, two inch again, eight inch, two inch, ten inch down at the bottom, and a four inch pulley there. So we just hauled rice, canary seed, yellow peas that were dried, and millet. Here are the results of using the DC motor on the rice hauler. We had approximately the same RPM. I'm putting this in, it's a little bit redundant, but some people have not seen this before. This one, this time we did not get as high a rate, and I don't know why. Probably at 80 percent. This was the canary seed. Probably 70 to 80 percent. This is the dried yellow field peas. This one it looks like you could easily separate them because the ones that aren't split will roll away. One could put them on a tilt table. And then last we did a lot of buckwheat but a little surprised that we didn't get as good a of, uh, percent. Maybe we fed it too fast. 
Again, the dark is, is unhauled. Brown is the hauled, and the white are the ones that have shattered. And again, I don't know how to separate these. The rice, we uh, did a lot of the rice, and it was too much to put here on the table. So it was into the high 90s as we expected. So now we've done the impact holder from India using the motor off of our rototiller and then a DC motor run by batteries. We just wanted to give you a feel for this. We're now going to work on making a do-it-yourself impeller. We've already figured out how to make the impact ring, but now we need the impeller. So we'll start working on that now. Don Brill here. We've now taken the two-man hauler from India and attached it to our rototiller. We just want to show people how we did that. We're not going to do any rice in it. You can look at the other videos. Just want to get a close-up of the uh, hauler that we're using. Over here on the right is the motor that we had used. Now I'll go and take a look at the other side. So now I'll go over and look at the other side. That's our half horsepower motor. We've disengaged that. We've still used our same feed roller. Now what I've hooked up is a um, the pulleys right there that were over on the motor. I think we have a 4 inch and a 2 inch here, an 8 inch here, 3 inch here, big 10 inch here. This one is a uh, 4 inch, you could, no it says it's 5 inch, you could drop this down to a 4 inch to get uh, higher RPMs with less speed. And on my rototiller it uh, looks like about a 3 inch. So this is how it's set up. All right, now I'm going to uh, fire it up and we'll just run it a little bit. So here the rice holder is uh, now attached to the rotor tiller and it's running. I uh, verified the RPM with my tachometer. Uh, Let me uh, try to pull that in. I use one of these photo tachometers. And some of you may have not seen our earlier video, video showing what all this is about. What this system is up here on the top is our uh, feed system. It's got a hopper and then this right here is some sandpaper that turns and it pulls the rice and drops it in. If you need more details you can go to the web page brillengineering.com. Down in there there's a hole, that's where the rice drops through. We need to get the RPM on this up to 3,000, 3,000 to 3,600. This is the impeller. There's those blades. They have three of them. The rice feeds in through here, it's sucked in hits the impellers and then it hits this uh, ring here that's angled so it only hits the uh, impellers once on the other ones when this is not angled the, the rice or other grains will hit this edge and then bounce back and get caught by the impeller again. So that's the uh, system hooked up to a rototiller motor so you could put any motor on there. It's got a five horsepower motor but it's not going to use that power so you'd want to gear it with pulleys so you don't use much of your uh, fuel to get the RPM up. 
Good luck with your project.